previously. I told you, consider the viewer. I expect you to do better next week. Now who's next? What's up guys and welcome to episode 2 of A Fragment of Her. Now in the last episode I had to, uh, it ended with me coming home to get my card so I can go buy me a camera. Maybe I used the code as a bookmark. Nope. Okay. Other pile of books? Nope. Uh, pile of clothes. Empty. Nice. Bed? Okay, no, I didn't mean go to bed. Huh. What the flip is it? Yeah, I'm not saying paint right now. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. Surpass him. Uh, what about there? Moving boxes then. No. Oh, wow. Canvases. No. Jacket. Ha! There you go. There's my code. I should be able to use that to withdraw money f for the bank, for the camera at the bank. I'll hit the road in just a moment. Let's go camera shopping, indeed. Look, I have a camera. That's amazing. You should start taking photos right away. You're right. But not to waste any more time. Better not to waste any more time. See you around. Sure. Uh, okay, just taking photos. Okay, so like that. No. Idea how to operate this thing. Happen happens when I press the buttons. Is this camera even on? I think I need a tutorial. Let's see if Tomoko knows. Hey Selena, so how are you doing? Well, I've got this gig camera now, but I have no clue how to handle it. Oh, could you maybe give me a little tutorial on how to handle the device? That'll be great. Selena, I'm studying literature. Books are the only gadgets. No, I know. Hot? Sorry, I have no idea either. No problem. Any ideas on how I could figure the camera out? Hmm, let me think. I don't know any photographers, and there is no course at the uni. Have you tried the bookshelves? It's worth a try. I'm going to have a look. Thanks. Don't mention it. Good luck. Okay. Random books. Uh, cinema. The ah, there you go. Beginner to pro. All right, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'll start reading it right away. Five minutes later. Uh, now everything's clear to me. I doubt that I, I have what it takes to become a top photographer, but it should be enough to photograph Seligman's paintings. Let's try this again. Concentrate. Thank you. Concentrate. Thank you. Concentrate. This dude really likes boobs and stuff, man. Damn. Just gonna take a photo of everything. That looks like a woman's, like, hips. I've got it. Did I, did I take... Okay, I already did. Did I already take this one? No. Ah, oh, that should be the last painting. My work here is done. So, Tomoko. Hey Tomoko, hey Selena, how you doing? Alright, I've made a photo of all the paintings that are here. Now all I have to do is to have that film developed. Congratulations, isn't that rather expensive? No worries, I'm sure I can afford it. This chick is paid, son. Good luck then. Thanks. Now, these stuck-up snitches up in here don't want to talk to me. But anyway, we're not here to dabble in small talk. I just have to get these photos developed, then I can study them thoroughly. Indeed, that you can. Finally developed the pictures. That took forever and cost a fortune. I'm sure it did. Um, so... 
straight to painting? Or... Okay, straight to painting. Hmm, interesting. Only now that I'm able to study Selim's painting in peace, I've noticed how similar to each other they all are. Yeah, they all feature women's stuff. Considered more closely, he always uses the same methods. He's constantly repeating the same patterns. And his choice of subjects is also rather, well, one-dimensional. Yeah, it's just women, women, women. Besides, I've just noticed a few times where he was really sloppy with his technique. That definitely couldn't have been on purpose. Could it be? Could it be that Professor Seligman isn't as... As... As brilliant as he claims? I don't think so. She ain't got no nose. She ain't got no nose. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to incorporate everything I was able to learn and abstract from Seligman's paintings. I've even included his favorite subjects. Semi-nude to nude women. There you go. I don't like him, I'm trying not to pick them plump and one-dimensional. Not wrong with plump. And somehow my work turned out rather bleak again. I didn't even intend it to be. No matter how much I intend to not paint such a picture, at some point I always veer off and voila, the next picture is completed. Bleak. It's almost as if there's a second Dark Selena inside me who dictates what I paint without me even noticing. But that sounds crazy, right? I don't think it's crazy, lady. It happens. Sometimes I feel like I'm going nuts, especially every time those pictures appear in my head again. If I wouldn't immediately start to paint afterwards, I probably would have gone insane already. So, any of you viewers, are you artists or painters? Do you get this as well? Um, I know it's probably an extreme thing to ask that, but like, do you feel as though you're, if you don't paint sometimes, you might go crazy? I mean, me, um, even though I don't do a lot of painting, I do some art um, on occasion, and sorry, that was my phone. And um, yeah, sometimes I feel like if I don't paint, or well, paint? I feel like if I don't draw, I'll just go crazy. So that's what I am asking. Leave uh, comments below. But as it may, I'm finished with my painting now. I wouldn't know how to in further improve it. Ha, huh, I'm eager to know how Professor Seligman is going to react to that. He'll just have to love it. Indeed that he will. After all, I might as well be one of his own. The next day. You're late again. At least we know where to start. Give me your painting. Fine. Ah, I see what is going on here. So we'll do it different this time. Where do you think you improved in the past week? Oh, Schneiser. Ah, uh, the brushwork? Truly formidable. These are impre impressive improvements you've made. You must feel rather good about yourself. But, what is it? Are you trying to insult me here? This is nothing but a shameless mockery of my excellent style. The brushwork is lazy. Did you put any time in it at all? But the colors are off. Everything here looks just wrong. You, and if the motif makes me shiver, then the motif makes me shiver, not in a good way. Crying out loud, girl. Open your eyes. <laughs> You're not as good as you think. Oh, that's it. This is your final warning. Whoa, 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 whoa. You'll have one more chance to convince me. I must be mentally disturbed or something. Yeah, you are, freaking idiot. Hey, Selena. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Don't lose it over that jerk. God, you must be so upset. I feel like I'm going crazy. If crazy means better, come on, look at your work objectively. There has been so much improvement. Do you really mean it? This guy is digging us, man. He's digging us, Tomago's digging us. Uh, you think so? 
Absolutely. Anyway, I don't know what to do anymore. I've given all I had on my last painting. I just don't know how I'll be able to improve even further in that short amount of time. Hmm. That book on painting from last time really did help you. It did. But I'm pretty sure I've already read all that could help me. But you mentioned that other book. Yes, the other one my girlfriend was taking with her all the time. She's talking about a book that isn't available. Hey, at least we know that it must be good if it's always lent. You're probably right. Maybe I can find out who has it. But is the book really going to solve my problems again? Any other options? No. You're right. If the book is half as good as your girlfriend thinks, it is, it is, it must be pretty good. I sure hope so. All right, I should get searching. Somebody must have it. Hey, good luck with your search. If you need any help, you can come anytime. Thanks, I'll do that. Bye. So, Blonde, hello. Could I ask you something? Oh, you're not going to talk to me? Well, I guess not, weird guy. Tomoko, what's up with this guy, man? What's up with this guy? Hey, Tomoko, hey, Selena. The group of students obviously doesn't want to have anything to do with me. And the blonde guy keeps ignoring me. Peter? I have no idea what his name is. <sighs> eh, he's still with them. What do you mean? I'm not particularly proud of it. But a few years ago, I was in an elite student organization. And Peter was in it as well. That sounds really exciting. Exciting. On the contrary, in principle, they do nothing more than feel better than normal students and confirm themselves in that belief. Okay, that doesn't sound particularly exciting after all. Like I said, I wasn't part of it for long. I just couldn't stand these ignorant, ignorant? <laughs> arrogant idiots. Yeah, but what gave you the idea earlier that Peter is still a part of the organization? Because the members only talk to other members. Not to normal students. Ah, now I understand. Members reveal themselves to others using a secret password. Only then they communicate with each other. Do you still know the password? Yes, but I don't know if it's still up to date. It's been a while since I was a member. What was it? Ftagen? Now that is a strange password. Yes, it's something super occult only the cool kids know. Interesting. I'm just gonna try. Maybe the password still works. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, well, before I talk to the blonde guy, I think I will end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to check out the other videos on the card and please check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of A Fragment of Her. And don't forget, keep being awesome.